All right, ladies and gents, welcome back to another week, week six of the Browns or the Clowns, whatever you want to call them, or own five. Season not over, but it's looking pretty bad. And the 401 Steelers with the good old Big Ben. And let's see what we can conjure up with. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. My bad. There we go. Once again, like every team this year on paper, we should be about to win this game. <laughs> we'll see what can happen. We have watch out for Watt. He could disrupt everything. Our line's okay. It's been pretty good. Our running game needs to improve, as we all know. We got Hayward right there as a force. But offensively, Big Ben and the, the weapons they have isn't that fantastic. Juju's good, but he's kind of the only thing going on. Their defense worries me. Today, from Heinz Field in Pittsburgh, it's week six of the NFL. Steelers getting set to match up with the Cleveland Browns. Why is he walking like that? With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, we look at this Steeler ball club entering play. They've been playing their best football of the year. Winners of four in a row. Meanwhile, for the Browns here, they come in pretty desperate here for a win as they've started the year 0-5. And, and it seems way too early to start talking about hot seats, but guess what? When a team is 0-5, people start wondering about their jobs. Maybe a good kick. And this will make it into the end zone. And he opts to not bring this one out. The first drive will start at the 25. And here comes Ben Roethlisberger yeah. out onto the field. He's on the Browns his whole offense. career. It's a pretty bland game he had last time out. Ended up throwing one interception. Didn't have a touchdown to offset it. But the team found a way to win. He found boys. a way to lean on other parts of the offense that carried them through. They'll run for the first time with James there we Conner. Go. I can talk you to tackle there. He's good. Up to the good start. Good start. Just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. It's a man coverage here. From the gun, it's Roethlisberger. The completion good tackle. Good tackle. Why right? didn't they complete that? Good. That is Jimmy catch Jones. number 300 now for his NFL career. An early test for this Here defense. Go. Here we go on third and inches. They'll try to run for it with counter. A first down for counter and then some. And all the way down inside oh. the 25 before he gets out of bounds. A big play on third there for the Steelers. This is going to call it a run play. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and ten. Out of the gun, it's Roethlisberger. Able to hit his target. Repeating every mistake so far. Nine there on the first down completion. That last catch short of the marker by beat. just a yard. Across the leaves board. him with a very manageable second and one. Ben leaves to counter on the draw. And they see right through that defensively. As he'll be hit and taken down to the backfield. He winds up giving a yard Some back the field there. Goal. And now it's third and two. Third down and two. On third down, it's counter. And flags come in. Holding, probably. Oh. 
Let's check on the call. There we go. That time, the right guard sending him backwards. And so many different types of guys rotate in on the defensive line now, depending on situations. You can get the bulky guy, the fast guy. No matter what, though, he can't hold them. They shake him off. Oh, he got up still? Oh, my goodness. The Browns D locked in on Woo. third down. Brings up fourth. And that was been then all year. So clear. Oh God, this that third down. This time on third down. That's all right. Kick is good. Yeah, the really tough. Touchdown. Yeah. Had just the one big play on the drive, but that was enough to put him in field goal range. Yeah, one big play of what they hope will be many others throughout the game. Every team has a different target for the number of plays like that. Those explosives that we talk about. That allowed him to put points on the board on that drive. Let's see how the rest of the game goes. Mad about this. Here's the Cleveland offense, and here's Baker Mayfield, former Heisman Trophy Ooh. winner, ready to go at quarterback. And this is a game Ooh, for numbers. grit, determination, and somehow finding a way not to panic. What a horrible start for them. I mean, they haven't <laughs> won a game yet. So now, as a quarterback, you're not just talking to your team. You've got to think demonstrate to pass them what they need to do to win. I'm He's sure think it pass. He's got to be the leader by how he plays. A uh, hoop back up there. They go play action. Mayfield. Oh, he's, he's supposed to go. Right away. And he's supposed to call out. That's not what it's supposed to be. Down, but he couldn't reel it in. From the 24, they'll go again on second and 10. Give it to Watt right there. He'll be brought down on the 30-yard line good after a gain of six. Brought a quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent Look for a chub right there, or Landry. From the gun on third down. Oh, incomplete. Brandon, we saw these going for it. We'll be coming to fancy one on one right here. Moving around quickly and forcing incompletions. I scramble on fourth down. They snap it to Mayfield, flush to his right. It's complete. There we go. There we go. That is the fancy call right there. Before he's out of bounds. Well, we kind of looked at each other as they decided to go for it, but in the end, great execution, a six-yard gain, and it all works out. And he'll take I'll this hold again. for two, oh, maybe my. three. But we do have a flag down, and they're already marching backwards. Of course. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> so this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. Now a play fake here on first down. Good throw. And it's Good throw. In by Austin Hooper. Mayfield's pass. They get 14 yards, but not enough for the first down due to the previous penalty. And brings up second down at the 41 yard line. Mayfield hands to Chubb on the draw. How do we get 71? And this time they were ready for him as they'll stop him right at the line of scrimmage. I thought we had a good time there. He's going to get a screen to go. He is tough at run support, and I think the way that he gets there is away from Watt instruction. Is gonna do before the ball's even snapped. There we go. Great Look at that. Of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the That's right good. path That's good. to the ball carrier. Shoot the clock. Keep moving the ball. Let's see Steelers guys. Cleveland first. Operating out of Steeler territory now. Here's first and ten at the 46. Now a first carry Ooh. for Giovanni Brown. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight yard gain, second and two. Tackle made at the 38 yard line. Eight yards on the pickup. Brings up second and two. On second down. Oh, that's brutal. He is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Three nothing after one on EA Sports. That was a big the shotgun it's Mayfield he can run for it and he will a pocket with the clock so quick a scrambling there 12 yards first down we just What's saw that, a nice example of why teams often bring in baseball guys to teach quarterbacks how to slide in key situations you want to protect your franchise guy make sure he doesn't get hurt he did exactly that on that Ooh. play a perfect slide to avoid the big hit and pick up a first down to Nick Chubb. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a seam Chubb this game. Brings up 
Well, there's something's going to happen. They'll get him to the ground at the 20, following a pickup of four. Browns ball carrier. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that it's going to break big and go the distance. But when you have a nice like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. Look at you can run essentially the same there play go, again, buddy. continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. So another third down conversion. I like the slant in this one. First and goal. And a lot of people ask the same question all the time. Why do we see so oh, many slants come in the on. red zone? They're two wide open guys. The Everything's more condensed. It has to be quicker. Oh. And you've got to deliver the ball on time. Your biggest worry? Ball is tipped in the air. Because if that happens, that's fair. Hammering for the goal. Oh, he no. The Chubb never fumbles. And a holding? Oh my goodness, it's faster. That hold coming from the middle of the line, the center. And it's that was a disaster. Sometimes you got people right over you, and as soon as you snap it, trying to get your hands up and block them, you can be a little bit late getting it done. Play action now. Here's Mayfield. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. All that gets him is just a yard, and now it's third down. They brought the blitz that time, and I thought they were going to get to him, but instead, he flipped it on its ear. Look for Higgins. I thought he was dead to rights, but you are exactly correct, sir. Able to turn that into a positive game. He may try Couldn't do much in that. Nobody's open. So no sack. He gets back to the line of scrimmage, but All right, still bring up a fourth down. And while he did a good job of sliding around in the pocket, there was nowhere to go with the football, so he had to take off and try and run. He just got back to the line of scrimmage. No game. You gotta be kidding me. And bangs off the right, upright, no good. And this score will stay right where it is. So from nothing less there than oh. two short distance, a tough miss from the right hash mark. Well, this is just a wobbler. I mean, he knows he's got to get it going left, but that was right all the way. And he's gonna get seven That's out of a crazy catch. Taken down the 27. Operating from the 27 now. Here's second and three. Well, we know he has pretty good hands on display there. In fact, he only needed one of them. Yeah, nowadays, all these receivers work on this, right? They do the one hand Johnson on poke free. Football's out. But he's playing good today. So a challenge coming down from the booth, and that's oh. where these challenges come from, of course, in the final. They always get it with a challenge. Yeah, now we're going to New York, right? That's command central for the officials. And he's down. They'll talk. They'll take a look at it. Communicate with the right, referee. There's the, the names. Yeah. And issue a final decision because they do have the final call now. That was a good defensive play, regardless. Yep. So possession still theirs, but now they face a third down. From the shotgun, it's Roethlisberger. Finds his running Good back, tackle, James dude. Connor. And he's going to be taken down about a yard shy of the first at the there 29. Now the Browns will use the first of their three timeouts. Oh, they the sideline and talk over what to do next. What touchdown did I do how he held and last week is his first one here's away. It's a 42 yard punt, but eight on the return. And the Browns will take over first and ten. Right, Second smart drive excuse. coming up here for Cleveland as they return to the field on offense. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. You got to push it Don't whenever tell me you get an opportunity. Face mask. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And oh, analytics good. Good. will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. Well, we looked at each other right away. Well, we knew that flag was coming out. And I always enjoy the conversation post because officials always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag, but you caused the play. You did it. I had to. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Good coverage downfield led to him taking off, picking up the first down on a 13-yard run. Man, defensively, that hurts. Oh, they that was scary. That was scary. They had him hemmed in, but somehow that. he was able to tuck it away and get away for I a game. not done that. This team is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. It came in, made the contact. Watch him. Just as he's trying to Watch the safety, which we didn't follow. All day, please, please, please. 
Oh, you accurate ball on that one. He was open. He shot it way too easily. Another inaccurate pass. Coverage is awfully tight there on third down. They actually closed off all the passing lanes. In the middle, see? Forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. And that is not telling you, I don't understand. Oh, missed it short. It's no good. And this score will stay right where it is. So it's a right second missed field goal here in this first half. He'll have to think about that going forward. Maybe time for a little soul searching as well. Yeah, the head coach might be looking towards the heavens because you wonder if this will affect the fourth down decision making going forward. If you get fourth and three, three fourth and there. four, situations that used to be calls for the kicker might get a second thought. They'll contain him to just four. Second down at the 35-yard line. Final play of the half. It's Roethlisberger. Screen pass Ooh. to Connor. A first down for Connor and then so. And down to the 16 yard line. We see the touchdown there. So we reach halftime here in the Steel City. This is a gritty, gritty game. Top. As we head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks. A few teams starting to rise to the top as it's time to take you around the They NFL had kind of that big play at the end six. there. Oh. We'll get started up at Lucas Oil Stadium in the capital city of Indianapolis. And it's the Colts on top as that one approaches halftime. Zach Pascal, a touchdown reception. From there, we head to Minneapolis to check on the Vikings at home at U.S. Bank Stadium. And they've got the lead in that one over the visiting Atlanta Falcons. Two touchdown passes for Kirk Cousins there. Finally, let's get to Philadelphia. Check on the Eagles at home at Lincoln Financial Field. And they lead the visiting Baltimore Ravens Good. at halftime. Carson Wentz has thrown a couple of touchdown passes there. Meanwhile, in our game, not much happening on the scoreboard. Just a lone field goal in that first half. For the call of the second half, maybe we can get a touchdown, fellas. Here are Brandon Godden and See, Charles we're Davis. The, we're still in this game, boys. Thank you, sir. A field goal separates these two teams as we come the back ball. for the second half. Forecast calling for more of the same. The rain set to continue as we are underway in the second half. Okay, high win. That's what a win. And a good and return as he stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. At their own 29 -yard Baker Mayfield leads the offense out for their next possession. His feet, what he's been able to do individually running the ball, it's kind of kept him in this game. No doubt about it, because if he's not making the plays that we've seen, they are really getting blown out in this one. I don't think they have any chance at all. He's keeping them in striking distance, hoping to get some help from the defensive side. I mean, if he come back at ball, he would be doing good. Plays, right. Maybe put him in the lead. Look at that. First down throw for Mayfield. Oh, he'll let one go deep for Higgins. Into heavy traffic and it's intercepted. The safety terrain. Back to the band. Bad play book again. Midfield and inside the 45. Jeez. So they elect to decline it. And why not? Just go ahead and let the play stand and they'll take that. Not able to go anywhere that time. Second down. Hmm. Play fake to counter. Now Roethlisberger. There we go. Coming and he's taken down. The sack there by Roquan Smith. So they come out of the locker room trailing, but plays like that, they won't be trailing much longer. Defense really starting out well this second half. Yeah, they knew they had to jumpstart things a little bit. They really struggled in the first half trying to slow them down. But now they had a plan, made that adjustment that we always talk about, and it worked very well on that play. And he'll go down here at the 35 yard line. Well, this is that one good for 17 as they're set up better now for third down. 17 yards on the play. It's now third down. They stay on the ground. Here's Connor again. He's going to run into a brick wall right in the middle Ooh. of the field, and I don't think he got there. Call it no gain that time, and they're going to be go left looking up at a fourth and one. 
It's fourth down. And this will be a long field goal if the skies were clear. But here in the rain and the elements, they'll go for it on fourth. They'll run for it with Connor. And he picks up the call. first before he's taken down at the 29. Well, we kind of looked at each other as they decided to go for it. But in the end, great execution. A six-yard gain, and it all works out. And they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and ten. They don't move that fast. It's time, and he goes down. Sack back of the 29. Kind of got him. A bend up. Work that and fast. They'll run him down for a loss of a yard. After the sack here, second and 11. At the Browns, 29-yard line. Another try after the first down sack. Roethlisberger. And inside that was the a trick pass. before he's brought down. 11 yards there. First down. First and 10 at the 18-yard line. On first and 10 is Counter. Oh, there we go. Oh, yes. Yes. Let's save us from that interception. Yes. Oh, it's going to be overturned. It's going to be Every time. Oh, he's down. He was down. It's really nothing about Madden. Every call is always against it. Every time. After review of the play, the Let's fumble on first reversed. down now. Here's second down. Following the fumble recovery, it's Roethlisberger. Completion here to Claypool. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14 yard line. We're on the field goal, boys. Again. Five as the clock ticks inside of two minutes to go now in the third. Play action. It's Roethlisberger. Got a man That's not how you do it. Stride. And he'll be taken oh down at the two-yard line. How does it take to get beat by a receiver like that and outran? That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. Have a touchdown. This game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. They'll try to run it. This is Connor. And they will stop him after a fairly short. minimal pickup. It's a gain of a couple, and it'll be second in goal. So they've been in the red zone three times, and it's yielded just three points. Can they find the end zone here on second and goal? And this time they were waiting for him, as he'll be knocked down before he can get back to the line of scrimmage. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. It's now third and goal. That's the end of the third. Now they'd really like to make the short field pay off. We'll see if they can, but this is third and goal. They'll look to run with Connor, and this time he is in. James Connor. Very quick score then. Touchdown on the year. And the Steelers capitalize on the short field as they take it in for six. It's up and good, and that'll increase their lead to 10 zip. The drive shot. Two touchdowns, Todd. And it was a touchdown run by James Conner that was the exclamation mark. That'll be taken about a yard deep, and this will not be brought out. It's a touchback at their own 25 yard line. The Browns drive about to get started. And you're still in this game. I mean, yeah, you haven't scored. Offense obviously has struggled. But you're only two scores down, so all hope not lost. Not at all, because we're talking about the NFL, and teams can no, score fast in this league. Quick strikes. You're right back in it. You're exactly right. Keeping hope alive. Chubb's out wide. That's interesting. On second down, Mayfield again. He's going to look deep now for Landry. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. An important play right here. Got a pass, I mean. And I would expect pressure here. And the throw there going to be incomplete. That's an excellent job right there on third down. Like any defense, you never want to let them get anything started. And that would have been a first down. Instead, you saw the contact on time, no penalty. And oh, my God. too much here. He's going down. Yeah, that's it. We lost the game. Able to shake free and get home for the sack. So they really needed points here in a two-score game. Could not come away with anything there on fourth. 
And while we know they're a little bit discouraged here, they can't check out of this game. You and I have called a good number of games over the course of our career where we've seen these types of situations. Yeah, pick six goes back as good, too. Back, and that miracle does occur. So they can't let that dream go just yet. They have to get stout on defense here. Yeah, right now, really hoping for a turnover. Back to Smith-Schuster, this time complete. It's a first down on a gain of 10. Pittsburgh Steeler. First and 10 at the 10-yard throw here, Roethlisberger. Now the pressure gets Miles. that, he goes down just inside the 20 at the 19. First half of the season. It was Miles Garrett that time who got in just there and brought think about. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. Another try after the first down sack. Roethlisberger. Ebron caught left side. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. The reception good for seven. It's third down. Roethlisberger. This will be caught just inside the 10. And he takes it inside the 10 to the end no, right. before he's out of bounds. That's okay. We they saved ourselves. We two scores anyways to win. So. One of the money right. routes for any offense, the drag route. So tough to defend because the receiver can stop at any point and make himself available to the quarterback and get a completion. But I love the communication we saw there. All the defenders pointing out the receiver, where he was going, and then they're able to rally to the ball after the catch and stop him short on the first down. A real quick strike. We need to step it up. We need to score a touchdown, not a field goal. See if they can pick themselves up off the mat and do better this go around. Sometimes I have this vision of coaches writing notes to themselves before a game. Mask. And sometimes that note says, be aggressive, stay aggressive. Maybe that's what we saw in the last possession. Yeah, they were very aggressive. This time, will it result in points? We'll find out. So now factoring in the face mask, here's first and ten. Working out of the gun, Mayfield. And bringing it in right side here, Beckham. It's a gain of seven, and it'll bring up a second down. Brings up second and three. From the gun, Mayfield. And finding the tight end, Hooper. And they'll get this one to about the 20-yard line. 11 yards there, first down. First down, Cleveland. Throwing, Mayfield. Under pressure, and he'll go down. Back at the 26-yard line, Stefan it able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon, letting one go deep for the end zone. Andrew, come and on, that man. will be incomplete. Try to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. The Browns on third down, three for seven so far in this game. This is third and 16. He's going to go up top for the end zone. There we go. And unable to again incomplete. Now give them credit, they took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. All right, they're the going to try and keep hope alive here the middle. on fourth down. They're going for it. So they can do. Now they go for it on fourth, but this one is going to wind up incomplete. So now with a two-minute warning coming up. I know their option was open, if you look again. I was getting pressured. Nose over here. I guess I am, but we were first down anyway, so it didn't matter. Him. Keep watching. Says we threw it. There's him. Covered. Covered. Open, but first down was over here, so it wouldn't have mattered. Still a miracle. A dent in their comeback hopes. I like how you phrased it. It's a dent because there's still opportunity. They've got to get the ball back on defense, obviously twice. But guess what? This thing is not close to being over. They need to go ahead and play it out. Not over. As you said, two score games still. And now defensively, they're going to burn their first time out. Remember, they get an extra time built in coming up here shortly at the two minute warning. Right back to Connor here on first. Why miss this tackle? Bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. And his defense here going to burn their second timeout. But you can also factor in another timeout that they'll get when the clock stops at the two minute warning. On first down. Doesn't matter if you get top of And he's going to take this across the 50 in the Browns territory. Doesn't matter. 
and call and against the rim. Here comes the third of their timeouts defensively. Six yard pickup. So they'll be left with only the two minutes. Nothing I can do about it. Stop it from here on out. On second down, Connor looking for space. Okay. And he's going to take this down close to a first down at the Browns 38. Seven yards there, good enough to move the sticks. I'm covering the totally home run every time. looking good as they come up first and ten. So the Steelers with the football as we get you reset. So here's a first and ten at the 38. Game in hand, the offense takes the knee. Hmm. Second down now. It's Connor. Four yards on the pickup there as they get it back to a more manageable third and seven. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. What did they bother? They just kneel it each time. Roethlisberger dropping to a knee, and that ought to do it. Brandon, I can just tell you from experience, there's nothing like pitching a shutout on defense, but even more so when it's a tight game. I mean, when every defensive play is crucial and you don't give up any points, boy, they're going to feel awfully good about the after this one. Yeah, exactly. The offense wasn't humming, but hey, all they needed was, uh, you can't score one point, all they needed was two points. Well, you can't score two points on offense, all they needed was at least three, and they got what they needed. They got what they needed, exactly right. So this one in the win column for the Pittsburgh Steelers, and they did it in shutout fashion. Impressive. Would it be too bland of a statement to say they didn't have the greatest day offensively? I uh, mean, Did know. enough, though. Did enough, but yeah, you're Right. Most games, it wouldn't have been enough. So they've got to go into the locker room and applaud their defensive mates and say, guys, that was a very good team either. Today. We'll try and get you back next time. But as for today, you guys are nails out there. So for Pittsburgh, Look their the strong start to the year continues as they're up to five and one. Baker. And they'll hit the road next week to take Running, I thought we did okay, but we had our fastens. Meanwhile, for Cleveland, the downward spiral continues as they drop to 0 and 6. Now. They got and they'll try to drop from him. Next week as they have a matchup in Cincinnati. Land Landry's not doing that either. That'll do it for us. I'm Brandon Gordon, alongside Charles. Don't have our tackles. We'll talk to you next time. So long, everybody. What a good sack performance out there. Kicking was miserable. But, you know, you win some, you lose some. Now that we're lost our division, it's not looking very good. You know, we're just not, we're not feeding fish at all. I know you're mad, I know. Cut the bangles again at home or away this time. <laughs> Should be able to beat them. Let's see. Show's bad. Get control touches. We can do that. See any resign, which your team is not good. But our no Higgins doesn't want to be here. Good said no. We have salary a little bit more for him. Parky, no. Not after last week. <laughs> See you later, buddy. Let's go back into scouting. Let's go for quarterbacks. Got a few mid rounders. See, there's only one person that's even worth our time. This is a horrible quarterback draft. Literally one person. So looks like we'll be stuck with our uh, 
Our baker for a while. Convince pants. Would you need defensive help? So it looks like this draft will be primarily defense. But we expected that to happen. Alright. So next week, next episode, go against the Bengals. Five and one Bengals. <sighs> it's a very poor game. We're 0 6. I mean, if we lose one more game, we're almost 500. So it's a very important game for us. Hope you tune in next time. See you next time. Bye.